musty as hell. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers eat with this kind of stuff? I guess someone needed some first aid recently. Huh, where is that cord going? that cord going? Barbecue me. Clementine. Clementine! No! What? Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking out don't of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? We're screwed. <gasps> Lee? Lee? Ah! I'll kill you!
You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hand! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you shit <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> Open this door, goddammit! <coughs> I will knock the we goddamn door stop. down! It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Please, settle down! Oh, you may be a hole behind these pallets. They make you swallow them! No such luck. Come on! Try yourself! Fucking cowards! Dad! Don't want to know what kind. There's more of us on the way. Let us out now. If you want to live. Gems are pretty sturdy. Not gonna help. You can climb up. Uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. They're not gonna open the door. You, you think a fucking apocalypse gives you the right to chop? They got caught you, Duck Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. Dad, this isn't helping. Hmm. I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! If he's dead... He's not dead! What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six-foot-four, three-hundred-pound, seriously pissed-off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. You're putting all what? of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Three, You're fucking worthless, Lee. Five. No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know, Don't but... you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? 
about your walkie-talkie. Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. He was still lively. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is there's safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Sorry, Lily. Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. Well, I got nothing. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Do what you have to do. Oh, boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. and get this unit off. It's not coming off that way.
Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Slaughterhouse. 